Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Carlos and I hope you are doing all right. And I just wanted to come here uh, and show you uh, something regarding Fedora 36. So I installed Fedora 36 on a Surface Go and um, I've had this Surface Go since 2020 and it has never really performed well. For the hardware it has, even though it's low powered, I would assume it would perform better on Windows because Microsoft created this tablet to work with their own operating system. So one would assume they had actually done something to Windows 10 to make it work well on a Surface device. Well, turns out they didn't because it has never worked well, the touchscreen was always laggy, it never worked properly, the operating system was not optimized for a touchscreen, most browsers didn't even know how to scroll using a finger, it was horrible. I only used my trackpad and my keyboard while using Windows and I was never happy, to it, uh, happy with it and I always dreaded using this device. Now, with Fedora 36, I can't wait to open it and use it and explore it and install stuff and install extensions and remove its extensions and change the icons, move things around using my fingers on a screen. That's crazy. Fedora is a Linux distro and it works better than Windows that was supposedly made to work on it. That just doesn't make sense and I know you don't believe me. So uh, let's get on and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I will move over to a screen recorder on my uh, Surface Go and I will show you exactly how it works. Uh, you will be very surprised. So this video will have two parts. So I will first go around and show you a bit Fedora 36 using the trackpad and the keyboard. And then I will remove the keyboard from the computer and use my fingers to navigate the system. I will install, I will remove extensions and I will move things around and I will use gestures gestures, something you can't really use on Windows using this device. So you will be very, very surprised and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's get on with it. Before I move over to the screen recording, I feel like I should show you exactly uh, how I unlock the screen. So this is the main bug because um, the on the, um, the on screen the, uh, keyboard doesn't really work very well during login. So as you can see, uh, it doesn't show if I want to uh, use a touch screen, you know. So this is the only time I really need to use a, a keyboard. Yeah. So here you have, so I am now locked in um, sometimes it takes a little to um, to boot but this is Fedora 36 on a Surface Go so let's move over to the screen recording so let's see if you install um, Fedora for the first time Fedora 36 you will be greeted with this which is a, an overview of the things that have changed and um, how to to use um, the the desktop. Uh -huh. And it's done. So the um, extensions I installed do help with performance. So I will first just uh, install the things I like. Uh, I need to install my extensions before. So, extension manager. 
and battery uh, yes everything so here we have so I have battery time percentage compact uh, that way I can see exactly how much time and percentage of battery I have uh, the battery life on Linux uh, it's actually quite good I managed to watch a lot of uh, media uh, without really needing to, uh, you know, have, as electric car people say it, range anxiety, uh, the battery works very well. I managed to have battery during the entire day and, you know, I don't really have to think about uh, charging my computer, which is nice. I also have gesture improvements. What this does is this. So if I scroll with four fingers up, I am... Okay, it changed. Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever. So if I scroll with four fing uh, three fingers up inside an application, it uh, puts me in full screen mode. And if I go again, even more full screen, uh, which is nice. So um, then, uh, yeah, if I go side to side with three fingers, I can move through applications and four fingers through workspaces. I really like that extension. It really helps with touch screen as we will go, um, as we will see in a few. So four fingers up and I am in the overview, four fingers down, I am on the application menu. Uh, this is really helpful. Um, it's, a, it's a shortcut and it works especially well on the touch screen as I will show in a few. Uh, I just really want to, um, to, to install uh, to activate uh, my themes so you see exactly how I changed my appearance. So Krypton and yes, perfect. Mm -hmm. I like this one, Dracula and the icons are reversal black. So as you can see, the icons are a bit more mobile, uh, which I really like. So now I think I will switch to using only my fingers. So as you can see, the mouse disappeared. Uh, I am clicking on the uh, little box for the overview and application menu. Then I clicked on the the uh, workspace I was using. So as you can see, I can move windows around and uh, put them in full screen. If I click here, um, so have to remove uh, the, the keyboard and now probably, yeah. So there's some bugs uh, with, um, so I used four fingers now to uh, to open the the overview menu i scrolled up um then if i scroll down i have the application menu if i go with three fingers i can move seamlessly uh, through pages which is very nice and i will open um a web browser just to see if the the keyboard shows um, doesn't seem to want to show right now. Let me just remove the keyboard fully. Okay, if I remove the keyboard, it actually shows. And it doesn't really give you any feedback as to where you just clicked. So it's a bit annoying, but it's something you can get used to. Um, I, I don't really mind it. So four fingers up, overview, four fingers up again, applications, menu. Um, three fingers to move th through uh, workspaces and you can even open the folders, exit the folders, move stuff around, uh, which is really helpful, really. Uh, create new folders, open the folders, remove stuff from the folders, 
uh, destroy the folders by removing everything outside of them, um, open office suites, uh, use the office suite uh, with the uh, <laughs> with the on-screen keyboard. So uh, it's it's really nice. Um, I I really can't complain. Um, we even have spell checker, which I had some problems in the past. So I I really really can't complain. It works so well. I am so surprised. I can navigate the entire OS just using my uh, fingers. I can browse through uh, folders. Um, I, I can use the terminal. Um, NeoFetch. Um, <laughs> I mean, it, it's just... It's seamless. Uh, I really can't complain about anything, really. I can go to the settings. I can... Uh, okay, these are not the settings. Uh, wait a second. I just want to uh, change something. So, Windows title bars. I want everything and I like it on the left. Um, I mean, I, I, I can even tile things uh really nice really nice i i again i can't complain i really can't so uh i i can even go to to social media apps uh these are the web apps but they work works so well you have no idea i can even use my programming apps with um with the on-screen keyboard i am using an extension to make it more usable so i will show you the extension just in a bit so the extension I am using is the OSQ uh, Improved Keyboard. I think that's, yeah, Improved OSQ. So this is really helpful because uh, it, it truly changes the experience uh, when typing. Uh, I now just um, deactivated it and I, I will show you um how how it works uh without it so i opening brave just to have something to write on and you know half of the time it doesn't even open you know uh the official one so i i, I just like to have this little extension that uh, really changes the way i interact with my with my device, uh, it, it truly um, is a lifesaver, and yeah, I also have this one just for looks, um, and caffeine, I, I love caffeine, I have the, um, the speaker things, the battery, I mean, the battery is something really weird, because it never knows how long, uh, how long it has, but you can switch between performance balance and power saver. I haven't seen any drop of performance on power saver. So I don't know if it actually does something. Uh, four fingers up. And we are in the menu. Three fingers right, left. Uh, I seriously can't think uh, of anything to be mad about. So we have plenty of apps. We can, for example, uh, open maps. And it too works very well. Um, maps. I mean, it, it, it's not very accurate and I shouldn't open it because then you will see exactly where I am. So let's just... Uh, not let it open. Uh, 
Okay, it didn't find me. That's nice. Uh, so yeah, um, this is what I think about Fedora 36 on a a screen. Uh, sorry for the long video. I just really wanted to show you everything. So I even activated fractional scaling so I can change things uh, about and here you have my specifications. Um, we are running Fedora on a Surface Go version 1, Intel Pentium, really, really bad processor, but it, it works really well. Uh, I really can't complain and I, I hope you like this video. And uh, if you want a guide on how to install this and how to set everything up, uh, please uh, hit me up. Um, and yeah, uh, hope you liked it and see you next time.